Welcome back to the finish line in association with betterpin.com. So I'm joined again for, uh, with Tom from Betterpin and we're going to go through Sunday's cars, well two races from Sunday at Punchestown. Uh, so we start off with uh, the handicap chase at Punchestown. I do you want to start off with the Moscow player? The Moscow player, yeah. as new ones and other skates. And other skates. Um, <laughs> you're worrying me today. <laughs> you're throwing races at me. I'm thinking I haven't looked at those. Um, I've seen you prepared. <laughs> I'm not, not for a handicap trade. Uh, the Moscow flyer at Punchestown. Um, yeah, looks competitive. Build me up Buttercup straight in there. That's my selection. Um, won his maiden hurdle very well. Uh, first time for Willie Mullins. He beat Danson on my own who was then third in a really good race at Leopardstown um, behind a horse called Classical Dream, I think his name is. I mm -hmm. uh, really fancy him. I actually fancy him for some much bigger title this really? race this year. Yeah, I like that horse. Um, the third horse in that race has then come out and won as well. Uh, he was fifth in the entry bumper for Mick Shannon, some top class bumper form. Uh, they ran him on the flat, then went a bit went a bit pear-shaped on the flat for him. The first time I ever heard it was a few of Willies that need the run this year, but he won first time up. Paul Townend rides. Uh, if you look at the rest of this race, I mean, Felix Desky is, is one of the second favourites. He's been so disappointing this year. He was he ran a lovely race in the puncher's town, in the champion bumper, sorry, in the champion bumper. Um, Travelled like an absolute dream, probably travelled too well throughout the whole thing. Um, he, I was really looking forward to him now and this yeah. year. He's been so disappointing, I couldn't touch him. Uh, Jettes is, is is what he is. He's a good horse, but he's kind of exposed. Um, you know, I wouldn't. I can't see him coming on too too much. Uh, Harry won at Tremor, travelled very well, kicked on clear, uh, nearly got caught by Bucks Billionaire. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Okay. He's got some half decent book perform. He should have won that race, Bucks Billionaire. But yeah, I mean, it's, that's not good enough. It's just a, it's it's not a good enough form for this. If it, it doesn't touch Bill Me or Buttercup's form, um, I think he's miles better, to be honest. I mean, he'd, be my, he'd be my better son there. Anyway. I'm going to go with Felix DJ. Are you? Yes. I'm, I'm willing to give him another chance. You're taking a chance there, yeah? Especially when your Davies on. Okay. Uh, at Cork? Was it Cork? Limerick. Over Christmas. Yeah, Pulled sure pull, pull, like an absolute bull. Mm -hmm. Um, if David can keep him on the wraps and he gets back to what you said he showed the champion bumper and his maiden hurt he looked really lead even but he just went absolutely pear shaped after that yeah, yeah. he looked like something like his old self the way he travelled but travelled a bit too well if that is after blowing away whatever cobwebs or whatever he had 4 to 1 is not looking bad yeah, I don't know. He's just disappointed me so much that I couldn't put near him. I think, I mean, we've seen those prices, but I think the prices will change. There's no way Bill me up. There's no way it's 7 to 2, 4 to 1, 5 to 1. It's still I, 7 to 2. I think if you, if that price was available, I'd definitely take it, obviously, but I don't know if you'd get it. I, don't, I, don't, I think they're the old prices. I'm not sure if they'll be available if we go down to Paddy Powers after this. <laughs> How pricey? 6 to 4. Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine he'd be more like seven to four kind of thing. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to forgive him that. That there must have been something up him. You can't go. You can't go from traveling like that in the champion book and pacing mm. up in the main hurdle to be suddenly my god, he looks like a seven hurdle. Yeah. The, unless there was something wrong with him, and unless it was something to do with wind or his back or something. And they got it corrected, and as you say, with the wind operation, we're taking two runs. Yeah. I don't know if he had one, I didn't look into it to be honest. No, he's also got to give Bill Neal a buttock of eight pounds, though. Yeah. And um, tips, it tips are in favour of Bill Neal buttock for this. I think mean, he's got the best form in the race, gets eight pounds off, off most of them, seven pounds off some of them. Mm. Yeah, that's my bet of the weekend. Thank I won't bet, much. but if I was going to, I'd Felix DJ, but you're having making a great case of Bill Neal buttock up. In fairness, see what happens. Next, we'll go to the novice chase, mm. the grade three. Yeah, uh, open race, isn't it? Um, oh, it's meant there's no, there's no prices up, so yeah, there's we no prices. can't give up on prices. But what do you, I, I, I'm on winter escape. Um, 
he's he was a very good horse ranking, um, and he's come back. And Aiden Howard is training him now. He pre-trains a lot for JP yeah. on the car, um, and they left this horse with him. He's done a fantastic job to keep this horse sound. He's won two hours free, he was second the other time at the Galway Festival um, on his first run back. He was electric the last day. Um, he's got to give weight to a few of the others, but I just think he's the horse that can stand out. A horse he's got to give a bit of weight to is a horse called Atlas Powers. Uh, Henry's horse mm-hmm. for Chiefly Park Stud um, gets all the weight allowances. Um, it was good the last day. Uh, beat Duke Geneva, I think it is at Willie Mullins, who was good out of the last year. Yeah. Um, gets all the ways allowances, but Winter Escape would be the one for me. I totally agree with you. Winter Escape, he was a very hyped up horse when he's trained with Alan King, and he seems to be doing everything that Alan King said he was capable of doing now. Yeah. I wouldn't be worried about him giving away to much of these now. Cuba Mania, not good enough. Ben Dundee, Looked good when he won his Navish Chase. He's bombed out twice since. Yeah. Beyond the law, no. Blow by blow, it's not long enough. Gun digger won a, won a. Well, probably was going to get beat by the carries until he fell to mm-hmm. last. That's alright for him. He probably was second favourite. Jatez just hates jumping. And um, Paul. Oh yeah. I think, it's, as you said, Winter Escape and a plus tower would be very interesting with, against him. The way I have yeah. to say, it's a stone off of uh, Winter Escape, but yeah, no, I'd be with Winter Escape. I think he'll, he'll take all the beating. Yeah, I'm with Winter Escape as well. So he'd probably do the same at the Yeah, place. so go back Winter Escape. That's a mess. Tom, Fun Dog. Fun Dog tonight, lads. There's one horse, one horse only. I wanted, I saw the entries in the decks for this and I thought, well, he's a certainty. Keep moving, he'll be a one to two shot, but he'll win, but you can't tip a one to two shot. Still, I'm tipping the odds on shot, he's still just about odds on. He's even money on Betfair. How Ufta is even money for the claimer at Dundalk tonight, I do not know. I think this is a one to two shot. Um, his horse was one straight 160. He won a handicap of 101, I think I was just looking at yeah. it, Ascot. Uh, that's in the past life for him, I know. However, he was trained by Johnny Murta, he had two runs at Dundalk, he was second and he won. Uh, Johnny Fiend picked him up for seven and a half grand at the October horse and training sales in Newmarket. Like, I know he took a punt on an older horse, who's obviously had his injury troubles, but like, there's such a, an angle to run him in these kind of races. He's had four runs on the all ever. Two wins, two places. He absolutely travelled all over them the last day. Oh, he was the winner tournament. Now, Hassan travelled all over a lot of them as well, and he was a good second that day. But you've done beaten by four lengths. Um, there was three pounds, yeah. He has not carried three pounds less that day than he's going to carry against them tonight. They're on level weights the last day. He carried three pounds less than them the last mm-hmm. day and got beat by four lengths. You've done travel all over them. Uh, the young seven pound claim that takes off a good seven pounds. He's, I think, he's attached to the yard. He rode in the last day. He won on in the last day. He's drawn in store for. I'm not quite sure how it's four to five. It's a, it's a free run race. Yeah. You've town passing out in Gregorian Bay. Gregorian Bay is a lovely, solid horse. Runs his race every time. He's been beaten in plenty of these claims. Um, he's rated. What's that? Twenty seventeen pounds inferior. Um, now he gets some weight off of him, but he only he only gets two pound less. Yeah. So I don't see how he can beat him. Hasselhoff, as I say, was beaten the last day with three pounds less on his back than he's got to carry against him yeah. today. And it's eighteen to one bar, which brings you down to horse rate seventy one. Who's out of form? You're even money to beat two horses. Hasselhoff has already beaten. Uh, Gregorian Bay as well. I just think it's youth tons for the taking, isn't it? He's I mean he's old, he's only just turned eight. Gregorian Bay is nine, Hasselma is six. Hasselma I know has moved to Dennis Ho, who's a fantastic trainer. But in his last, his his win before he won a claimer for um Johnny Levins and so he's in good form, but he 
he, he won a claim for Johnny Evans. Uh, he was claimed and went to Joe Lyons. Mm. So it's not like he'd been built with bad trainers and he's suddenly gone to Dennis Hogan and all of a sudden he's, as a six-year-old, exposed, going to go and improve £10. He's not. Um, is is Uferton going to be competitive off hand, in handicaps of 95? No. But he doesn't need to run to anything like that now. If he runs to 80, which is a, a, a stone below what, he, what he's rated, he'll win this. Um, and he ran to an RPR of 97 the last day. And you know, even even his last two runs in England for John Butler before he's bought, he ran to 98 and 84. If he runs to those marks, he'll win. He should have been carried last week and still win. You know, he just travelled so well, picked up, put his head down, there's no messing about, he's game as you like. Even money, take a chance. I know it's not a great price, but... Even money, even there's, money. There's, sorry, value, sorry. there's value at all ends of the market. I mean, you're looking at a race here where there's realistically three horses with a chance. So, like, yeah, okay, we look at handicaps, and my attack and handicaps would be try and pick a bigger, bright horse who maybe didn't get its running last time or could give it a few runs, stepping up, stepping down a trip, trainer in form. But then you get to races like this, where you're going to get a lot shorter price about a horse, but you've only got so many in the race yeah. that actually have a chance. Um, Johnny Finn is a good form, he's a good trainer. The young man takes off a good seven pound, knows the horse, won on him last time. Even money, I honestly think, God, he should be at least four to seven. Yeah. You know, they've come for Hassan that this morning, but. That's a new trainer, man. I think, that, I think that's the only angle with Hassan that he's a new trainer. And Dennis Hogan's a great trainer. But he's not a magician. Is he going to go and improve him off Jeremiah Lyons? Jeremiah Lyons didn't have him for very long, but, you know... You can't see him turn out of form whatsoever. I just can't. No, no. no. But it's not like he's coming... If he was coming from a bad trainer and going to Dennis Hogan, I could, and, and the form is the same, I could see your case. But he's not. He's coming no. from Jeremiah Lyons to Dennis Hogan. So, no. You've done better the weekend for me. Half five, done dog. Thank you later. Tune in. Oh, well, yeah, hopefully thank you later anyway. How are you, Anthony? I've won. I've no price on. He's running tomorrow at Ferry House at one fifteen in the four-year-old hurdle. Henry the Bromheads having a good time. He ran the last time at Ferry House, I think. He was twenty-five to one in a three-year-old hurdle, and Willie Mullins had a ten to, ten to three yard shot, and he absolutely bolted it. Rachel Blackmore was on for the first time. Well for, the, well, for the second time. And then um, travelled, jumped, put the bed, put the race to bed with the matter of rights. Henry is in unbelievable form. He had another double yesterday yeah. up in Clonmel. I can see this thing going in again. I just really liked the, what I seen that day. And to put, put him to bed that quickly, I was impressed. Yeah. I don't know what price it is. It's probably my favourite, second favourite. Willie Mullins, I think, has Joseph, Joseph O'Brien James has yeah. Garments of uh, Babylon. Um, Jessica Harrington has got Trump. Sir, right there, I've just seen down there. Sir, right there, yes. Yeah. It's going to be a competitive race. I think he's going to be overlooked, and you might get a decent price. I have him kill right now. He's rated, what's he rated? Where are we? He ran to an RPR of 114 last day. She did, we should say. So. Yeah, she She gets a bit of weight as well. She's getting what? She got seven pounds for going to Babylon. Yeah, I like her. I think she could run a good race at a good price. That's just me. That's it. That's, that's all I have. So that's us, I think. that's us wrapped up again for this week. So from now on, we might, well, we probably will be doing reviews of the weekend's racing on a Monday. So from let's see, we're starting. We'll see. It might be Monday or it might, might be, be following the following Monday, but we're going to start a review. A review program on a Monday and then a preview of the weekend on uh, Friday yeah. so yeah we're gonna so we keep up. I keep up Ian Farn through the Facebook page anyway so again that's thanks for watching and tuning in and give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you again next week see you then come on Newton <laughs> yes